Hello, my name is Stuart Hamblin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. The lesson I'd like to share you with today is very much about the availability of our spine to participate in day-to-day -day activities like walking and standing. But if you're a athlete, a golfer, a swimmer, a racket player, I think you'll also find it very interesting um, because of the way it connects our, the movements of our legs to our spine and how we can use our centre to create power in, in those activities. Please begin by lying down on your back and if it's comfortable stretch out, out the legs but if it's uncomfortable on the back of course then please feel free to bring the legs to standing. And then just take a moment to notice the overall contact that you make into the floor. So where do you feel the back resting down into the floor? Where do you feel the two shoulders resting down into the floor? How do you sense the contact of the legs into the floor? And then how have you chosen to place the arms as you've come to lie down on your, on your back? And then please just think about your height as you're lying here. So if you imagine your height from the crown of your head, the top of your head, down to the bottom of your heels, what's your overall impression or sense of your height in lying? <clears throat> and then once you've done assessed your height in lying, then just roll the head very easily from one side to the other. As ever in a Feldenkrais lesson, you're not looking to stretch or force anything. You're just respecting any um, limitations that you may sense um, in just such a simple activity as ro rolling the head. And then please come to centre with the head and eyes and then bring both feet to standing. And many of you now will be familiar with this idea of the pelvic clock. Um, painted on the back of your pants with 12 o'clock towards the head and 6 o'clock towards the feet. Could you begin to press both feet down evenly into the floor to roll your pelvis towards 12 o'clock towards the head and then towards 6 o'clock towards the feet. So you press down evenly into both feet to roll the pelvis to 12 o'clock so that the lower back comes closer to the floor and then you think of the feet becoming light to help you arch the lower, the lower back. So just do that a few more times, gently pressing into the feet to go to 12 o'clock and the feet becoming light to go to 6 o'clock. And once you've done that a few times, then pause in the centre. And if we make the right hip three o'clock and the left hip nine o'clock, could you begin to press into your left foot to roll the pelvis down to three o'clock to the right, and then press into the right foot to roll the pelvis to three o'clock, um, to nine o'clock, sorry, towards the left hip. So press down into the left foot to roll the pelvis to the right and press down into the right foot to roll the pelvis to the left. And as you're pressing into the feet, so if you think of the left, pressing into the left foot, think as you're pressing into the foot that the thigh is lengthening away from you in the direction of the knee and the toes. And when you press into the right foot, same thing so that it's more like an action in walking um, but, but lying on the back. You feel the rolling of the pelvis as you use the legs from side to side. Good. And then pause and please lengthen both, both legs. And once the legs are lengthened, just have them a comfortable distance apart. So not, not too wide, equally not the feet together. And lengthen your left arm over overhead on the floor. So um, some of you will be easily to get, able to get the arm overhead. Others, it might just be the fingertips resting down into the floor. Others, you might need to have it a little bit further out to the side. 
just try to find a place that's comfortable for the arm where it can rest at least the backs of the fingers can rest on the on the floor have the right arm just down by your side and draw your attention to your left leg as it lies and see if you can just lengthen down through the heel to lengthen that leg away from you. So it's not a big movement but you're just thinking can you lengthen the leg as it lies away from you uh, and then you let it let it release. So uh, you can think there's something just on the floor by your heel and you're trying to push that item away uh, a number of times. So the, the idea here is you're trying to create length in the left hand side as you're reaching, reaching the leg away. So one thing to be careful of is not to do a six o'clock movement here. So um, to arch the lower back. It's not really that kind of movement. It's more a sense of the whole of the left side lengthening um, rather than shortening in, in the back. Now pause and then bring your attention to your left arm as well, the one that's overhead, and see if you can think of lengthening both the arm and the leg away from each other and then release. So just nice easy breathing, thinking can you lengthen the arm and the leg away from each other and then release. And just notice as you're focusing on lengthening the arm and the leg, is it the leg lengthening first and then the arm? Or maybe you initiate with the arm first and then with the leg. Can you perhaps find a way of lengthening both together? And what I'm beginning to feel, maybe you are too, is actually what happens is, of course, the ribs on the right hand side can come closer together to facilitate the rolling a little bit to the left and those ribs on the on the left opening to enable the hand and the and the foot to slide away from each other. Now pause. And then the next time you lengthen the arm and the leg, see if you can roll the head to the right and then you come back to centre. So just check the jaw is nice and relaxed, that you're not tensing there, eyes are nice and soft. You're just rolling the head a little bit to the right as you're lengthening the left leg and the left arm away from each other. And as you're rolling the head, trying to almost as if you wanted to see where your right hand is on the, on the floor beside you. Okay. Now pause and then the next time you are rolled, you've rolled the head to the right, um, pause there and see if you can, each time you breathe in, pull in the tummy and expand the chest and then you release. So you pull in the tummy and expand the chest and, and what you may feel is the expansion of the chest, the movement in the ribs is facilitating the lengthening of the arm and maybe too a little bit of the leg away from each other. Now pause, bring the head back to centre and then just try a few, a, a few movements of rolling the head to the right as you lengthen the arm and the leg away from each other. In what can you do in the pelvis, the trunk and the ribs to have this idea of length? Good. Now pause, bring the arm back down by the side. Just notice how that feels. So <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit asymmetrical now. I can feel that whole of the left side is a lot longer or feels a lot longer than the, the right hand side. And then just roll the head again from side to side just to see if that, that um, experience is reflected in the way that the head is rolling. Now pause and then take your right arm over overhead. Okay, just find somewhere comfortable for it to be. I'll move this cushion out of the way. 
and then bring your attention to your right leg and begin to have the idea you're lengthening that right leg as it lies away from you. So lengthening it down and away from you as if there's something just on the heel that you want to push further, further away. And again, just be careful or note is your tendency to lengthen the leg to arch the back into six o'clock and and if it, that is the case maybe you could just keep the sense of the tummy pulled in slightly so it's more a sense of the left hip hitching up as the right hip lengthens down now begin to include the arm in this exploration so you think of lengthening the arm and the leg away from each other and then release. Okay. Just noticing, are you letting the ribs participate? So um, I can feel how I le when I lengthen the arm and the leg from each other, my weight, the weight rolls a little bit to the right hand side. It's as if these ribs are helping to push the arm and the leg long. Now begin to roll the head and eyes to the left as you lengthen the right leg and the right arm away from each other. Just take your time, it's such a lovely movement to do, to feel this great creation of space in that right hand side as you're rolling the head to the left. And then the next time you have lengthened and rolled the head to the left, pause there and then see if you can pull the tummy in as you breathe in and really try and expand the chest and see if that that breath helps to lengthen the arm even more on the floor so you pulling in the tummy as you breathe in to reach and then release i'll just do one more pulling in the tummy expanding the chest as you breathe in and release and then just come back to center with the head and eyes and then try a few more of lengthening the arm and the leg away from each other as you roll the head to the left. Just see, is it becoming a, a more synchronised movement? So instead of thinking, oh, I've got a leg to move and an arm to move, actually they move, they lengthen away together because of something you're allowing to happen in the centre. So pause and then please take a, take a rest. And then once you've uh, had a rest, just roll the head and eyes again. Now, I'm suddenly feeling a lot more even, thank goodness, after, after doing the other, other side. And then please pause and lengthen your left arm overhead again. And come to lie on your, on your roll the pelvis, so you come to lie on the left hand side. So I'm resting the head on the, on the arm. And as you come to lie on the left hand side, keep the right leg slightly behind you. So it's behind the head and the right leg is it slightly in front of you. So um, right leg slightly behind, left leg slightly in front of you. And you want to try and make sure you're on the side, you're fully on the side. So not half on the side almost to the back and equally not tip too far forward you truly want to be resting on the left hand side with your two legs split in this way and then bring your right palm behind the back of the head so the elbow is pointing more or less up towards the ceiling and then bring your attention to your right leg the one that's behind you and begin to lengthen that leg down and away from you. So you try and keep the leg long. So when I was teaching this in class this week, a couple of people were simply bending and straightening the leg to lengthen it. So please, if you notice yourself doing that, just try to keep the leg long as you reach it away and then let it come back. 
So you're just, just nice, easy breathing, reaching the leg long and releasing. And you'll perhaps begin to notice um, the lengthening of the leg, your ability to lengthen the leg, has an awful lot to do with how the ribs and the chest are organised. So, so as I reach that leg away, I can feel, I can feel my ribs, some of my ribs underneath me, lifting away from the floor to help me lengthen that leg away. And as you'll continue to do this a few more times, just notice what happens to the right elbow. Can you, can you feel, as you lengthen the leg away, how the elbow just moves a little bit in the direction of the head. Now, you don't need to make that happen. See if you can allow it to happen. And, and of course, what's helping it to move is the lifting of the ribs and the, and the chest. Now, the next time you lengthen the leg down, pull in the tummy and breathe into the chest. So you lengthen the leg, pull in the tummy, breathe into the chest a few times. I'll just do it once more. Pull in the tummy, try to really breathe into the chest. It's quite hard to do and talk at the same time. Good, and release. And now stay on the side, but bring your attention to your left leg, the one that's slightly in front of you, and begin to try and lengthen the left leg down and away from you. So I'm just trying to reach the leg a little bit further away from me, with it lengthening it down. Again, just notice, does, do you feel that little movement in the elbow again? And of course, what happens, or what can happen to help that leg lengthen, is effectively now the right hip will hike up a little bit hike up a little bit to facilitate that. See if you can, again, breathe into the chest as you lengthen the leg away. Breathe into the chest and release. Good. And then please pause once you've done enough variations and come to rest, rest on, the, on the back. And just roll the head again a little bit from side to side to explore that. So, um, once you've rested, take the right arm over overhead on the floor. And then bring yourself to rest on the right hand side. So, I'm, uh, excuse me for turning my back to the camera, but I think it might be quite useful for you to see a back view as well as a front view. Um, during the course of this lesson. So I lengthen the right arm overhead, bring myself to lie on the right hand side, and you'll notice it's the left leg behind, um, the right leg is slightly in front. You want to try and have both legs long and to be resting on the side. And then bring your right palm to the back of the head, and then begin to lengthen down through your left leg and release. That's it. Just lengthening down a number of times, really exploring can you keep the leg long but straight and what is it you can do in the pelvis and the ribs to facilitate the lengthening of the, of the leg away from you. Okay, just noticing what's happening to the top elbow as you do that, do you get a sense of it? Just moving a little bit in the direction of the head as you lengthen down through the leg. Now see if you can lengthen as you breathe into the chest. And then you release. So you have to pull in the tummy as you reach the leg long. And then you release. And again, try not to do a big arch in the back to lengthen the, the leg. So it's more this side lengthening and shortening activity that you're really looking for to help lengthen the leg. Now, pause, bring your attention to your right leg, the one that's in front of you, and try and lengthen that leg down 
and release. Keep the contact of the palm into the back of the hand super light. And if you do that, again, you'll get a sense of the elbow just lengthening a little bit away from you. And release. Now, pause. And then please just take a rest on the back again for a, a moment. One of the reasons I really love this lesson, the movements themselves are quite quite simple, um, but I, I found after doing the lesson quite a big difference in the way that I was standing uh, and walking. Because of an old injury, I have a history of really avoiding bearing weight down through my right leg and my right hip joint. And this lesson, even though it's done on the side, is really teaching that the, the organisation that is necessary in standing and walking for effective weight transference and to create power, um, that, that the power of the legs um, is really very much dependent upon the flexibility of the spine and its availability to um, uh, participate in those movements. Um, please bring the left arm overhead again. Roll once more onto the left hand side. And so once again it's your uh, right leg behind you, your left leg is in front. Bring the right palm into the area of the back of the, back of the head. And then just see, can you reach the hand a little bit further down the spine to the area between the shoulder blades. Don't strain to do this, some of you will be able to easily reach and you're just kind of using the hand to explore where you can reach on the two shoulder blades. So can you reach down to the left shoulder blade, up to the right shoulder blade and um, maybe the area between the shoulder blades, how far down the spine can you comfortably reach the hand. And then begin again to length, the lengthen down um, through the left leg and release. So just gently lengthening down through the leg and releasing. And feeling what's happening in the spine and the ribs. And just noticing where your fingertips are on the spine. Can you sense how the pressure becomes a little bit lighter as you reach that left leg long? And then pause and begin to do the same, sorry, the right leg long. Begin to do the same with the left leg, the underneath leg. So you're just reaching it away. Good. And as you're... <laughs> excuse me, lengthening the leg away, just noticing what can you feel where the fingertips are making contact into the spine. Can you begin to explore as you're lengthening the leg away the one shoulder blade and the other. So you're just moving the hand around on the back. And then alternate lengthening once the right leg and then the left leg. So just alternating, lengthening one and then the other, trying to keep um, both legs long. Good. And then try to lengthen both legs down and away from you. With it, making sure you're breathing, keeping the jaw nice and relaxed. With it. And pause carefully, leave it alone, undo the arm and come to rest on the, on the back. It'll perhaps be a little clearer what I was doing with the hand on the back when I come to do the other, other side. <clears throat> and then um, please take the right arm overhead, roll onto the right hand side. Uh, the left leg is behind you, the right leg is in front. Bring the right left palm to the back of the head and then just think, can you reach a little bit further down the spine to the area between the shoulder blades? Can you make contact with both shoulder blades, maybe even reach the floor? 
and then wherever you can get to comfortably, stay there with the hand and then begin to lengthen down through your um, left leg a number of times. So again, not a big movement, just thinking how far can you lengthen that leg down without strain, without power, and can you feel between your underneath your fingertips that the movement reverberate? I can feel the vertebrae underneath my fingertips just being moved by this movement of the of the leg. And of course it's not just the movement of the leg, it's the movement of the ribs and the spine too. Now pause and then begin to lengthen down through the right leg and release. So you're lengthening down through the right leg and release. And as you do that, just see, are you able to comfortably move your arm around the area of the shoulder blades? Where can you comfortably explore? And now alternate once the left leg lengthening the right leg lengthening, left leg lengthening, and then the right leg lengthening. And then see, can you lengthen both legs down and away from you? Both legs down and away from you, as you're just exploring the back and the shoulders with your left hand. Good. And then please pause, leave it alone, and come to take a rest, a rest on the, on the back. And just notice the contact when you do come onto, onto the back, just notice how that all feels. Good. And then just roll the head again a little bit from side to side. Certainly feeling a bit easier to roll the head, head now than at the beginning of the lesson. And then um, please pause once more lengthen your left arm overhead and come to lie on the left hand side again in the way that we've been doing but this time could you have your right leg in front of you and your left leg behind you slightly so still long with the legs but now it's the right leg in front of you and the left leg behind you, but you still very much want to be on the side. And now bring your right hand, bring the back of the hand to the area of your lower back if you can. So um, not the palm, the back of the hand. And um, just see with the hand where you can explore so I'm just making some circles with the back of the hand in the area of my lower back. I'm sort of you can perhaps reach down to the buttock area, and then some of you will be able to sort of the fingertips will be able to touch the floor just behind behind you where you're making contact into the floor. And some of you will be able to slide the fingers further up along the spine in the direction of the of the head but please don't strain to do any of this it isn't worth it um, and it probably won't lead to improvement but what will lead to improvement is you is you l really let yourself stay within a comfortable range now pause wherever you get the hand and then begin to lengthen down through your right leg and release so I just have the idea of lengthening down through the right leg and release. And it's very interesting, when I lengthen down through the right leg, I feel how the, the contact between my back and the back of my hand becomes lighter. Obviously the ribs are beginning to move um, as the leg moves a little bit away from the back of my hand. So I'm finding that, that um, interesting and as that, that pressure becomes lighter um, so I'm able to reach that hand a little bit higher up my spine but just go carefully and then pause and begin to lengthen your left leg down and away from you. 
So again, it isn't a big movement at all, but um, even though the, the exterior movement may be small, certainly the internal sensation of movement along my spine is quite, is quite strong. Now pause, and then alternate lengthening once the right leg, and then the left leg. Right leg, and then the left leg. Just try to lengthen them down alternatively. Right leg, and then the left leg. And then see if you can lengthen both legs down and release. Both legs lengthening down and release. A couple more times, both legs lengthening. And then pause and just kind of explore, having done those variations, can you maybe move the hand a little bit more freely on the back? Uh, maybe the fingertips go a little bit higher I'm, I can touch my uh, left left shoulder blade now comfortably, my right shoulder blade I can touch here. Uh, whatever you can do is good. And then once more we turn to alternating, lengthening down through the right leg and then through the left leg. Nice, easy breathing, checking the jaw is nice and relaxed, the eyes are soft, and then try to lengthen just down through the right leg a few times, reaching down, and then through the left leg a few times, just lengthening down, and then both legs once more. Good. And then pause, carefully bring the hand out from the area of the lower back. Bring it once more onto the back of the head area, and even down a little bit towards the shoulder blades and then try to lengthen first the right leg a few times and then the left leg a few times and then both legs both legs lengthening Good. and then leave it alone and carefully come to rest on your back So my right shoulder suddenly feels a lot looser and available for, mo for movement. Good. Please um, just roll the head a little bit from side to side and then take your right arm overhead and come to lie. Again I'll show you the back view, I'm sorry to turn my back to the camera but you might find it helpful just to see what the hand is doing. So roll onto the right hand side, have your left leg in front of you and your right leg behind you slightly. So left leg in front, right leg behind you. Bring the back of the right hand, sorry, left hand into the area of the lower back. And first of all, just explore where can you comfortably reach the, the hand. So I can comfortably reach down to the area of the buttocks, just making some circles, and then I can just explore the floor near to me, and then I can, that's it, where, discover where can you comfortably reach along the spine. So I can feel my right, sh my left shoulder blade, my right shoulder blade, the area, the vertebrae between the, the shoulder blades. And then pause wherever is comfortable for you and then begin to lengthen down through your left leg a number of times. So just nice easy breathing. Again, are you allowing the pelvis, the ribs and the chest to facilitate the lengthening of the leg? And it's really interesting because where my hand, my left hand is my thumb. I can feel the vertebrae here and as I lengthen the leg down those those vertebrae are sort of lifting up in the space the space to facilitate the lengthening of the leg. Now pause and do the same with your right leg. Try to lengthen that down. Just nice and easy lengthening it down. 
being, just noticing what you can feel where the hand is. And then alternate lengthening once the left and then the right. Left leg and then the right leg, just a number of times. And then try to lengthen both legs down at the same time. Both legs, the idea of lengthening down. Okay. A couple more times. Good. And then pause and just see, can you maybe slide the hand a little bit higher up the back, wherever you can explore is, is good. It just um, along the spine. Good. And then pause, carefully um, take the hand out, bring it behind the back of the head once more. Maybe just slide the hands down a little bit towards the shoulder blades. And then see again, can you reach the left leg down and away from you a few times. You can feel the vertebrae between my shoulder blades turning and then lengthen down through the right leg a number of times. And then alternate once the left and then the right. Left and then the right. And then try to lengthen both down. Both legs lengthening down and away from you. And then pause once you've done enough of those movements and come to lie on your back again for a rest. And then please just roll the head a little bit from side to side. And then pause and then take your left arm overhead again and once more come to lie on your left hand side. So uh, left hand side once more. My this time the left leg it sorry the right leg is behind me again, the left leg is slightly in front. And then see can you fold your left arm to bring that hand to the area um, behind the back of the head or the area of the shoulder blades. Wherever you can reach it is good. And then bring your right hand into the area of the lower lower back once more and maybe even a little bit higher up the spine, wherever you get to. And then begin to alternate. Also, first of all, lengthen down through your right leg a number of times. And as you lengthening down with the leg, just notice if you can what happens to the head. So what I can feel is the back of my head is just tilting back slightly the, as my leg lengthens down. So I'm not trying to make that happen, it's happening anyway as I lengthen the leg down. And if you find that the case that to be the case for you as well. Just make sure that your, your lower teeth are separated from your upper teeth and have the idea as the back of the head tilts back slightly that your chin is just going to protrude forward a little bit. So it probably you'll hardly see anything at all on the video but I can definitely feel the back of my head tilting back. So I'm just allowing the ch sense of the chin to protrude forward a little bit as the leg lengthens. Now pause and see if you can do lengthen down through the left leg and release. Left leg lengthens down and release. Left leg. And then alternate once the right leg, once the left leg, lengthening down. And then begin to lengthen both legs down. And if you feel the back of the head tilting back, allow the chin just to 
press forward a little bit or protrude forward and then pause, leave it alone, carefully undo the arms and come to rest on the, on the back. You just notice how it feels when you come to rest on the back. And then please come to lie on your other side. So you take the right arm overhead, roll onto the right hand side, have the left leg behind you, the right leg in front of you. Fold your right hand arm so you can bring that hand behind the back of the head or um, to the area between the shoulder blades, wherever it is comfortable for you. Bring your left hand behind the back and reach it to wherever it can comfortably go. And then bring your attention to your left leg and begin to lengthen that leg down and away from you. Just reaching it, whether you do it as you inhale or exhale, it doesn't matter as long as you're breathing. And then see if you can get this sense of the back of the head just tilting back a little bit. And make sure you allow the jaw, the mouth to be slightly open so that you have the idea each time the head tilts back the chin just pokes a little bit forward now pause lengthen down through your right leg a number of times see how that is lengthening down through the right leg and then alternate once the left leg and then the right leg lengthening down just notice what you feel where the hands are then can you sense that slight tilting back of the head and then try to lengthen down through both legs at the same time and then pause and just switch the legs round so it's once more the left leg in front the right leg is long and then alternate once the left left leg reaching down once the right leg lengthening down to left leg and then the right leg you really get an idea of what it takes in the center to help lengthen lengthen the leg and then pause carefully undo come onto your back and take a, a rest if you think about about what this lesson is about. It's um, uh, if you think of an activity like walking down the stairs um, where you have to reach down with one leg to the to the step the step below you and how that how the lengthening down of the leg of course isn't just happening in the leg, it's as a result of what you're doing in the, in the spine. You think of how useful this would be for climbers, for rock climbers as well, that uh, need that flexibility and availability so you're able to reach fully with the whole body. So, and again, racket players and golfers, how you, you create um, movement um, and power really through the spine and your centre. Now pause, bend both knees, take both arms overhead and just see what it's like to lengthen both arms on the floor away from you. Back to the hands just sliding away. Try pressing into the heels, pulling in the tummy and expanding the chest to, and release. And then uh, pause and lengthen both legs. Bring your right arm down by your side. And then just return to that very early exploration we made of lengthening the arm and the leg as you roll the head to the right. Is it becoming a much more synchronized movement of the arm 
and the leg lengthening because of how you're organizing your ribs and your and your chest. Certainly for me it feels it's a bigger reach and uh, a clearer reach. And then pause, change arms around so it's your right arm overhead and your left arm down by your side and begin to lengthen the arm and the leg away from each other as you roll the head to the left. Pause, come back to centre. Just take a moment in resting to notice how that all feels, how the contact is, what's your sense of height compared to the beginning of the lesson, and then just roll the head and eyes a little bit from one side to the other. And then when you've when you've ro finished rolling the head, just bend the knees roll to the side and um, come up. So, okay. so take your time um, after the lesson but when you are, are ready to please come to standing. So when you come to standing just take a moment to notice what's it like to Bear the weight down into your right leg and then into your left leg. So, can you feel the relevance of the lesson we've just been doing? That if I truly want to stand, um, I'll mirror on my, on my left leg. See, to transfer my weight, it's really just what we've been doing in the class. I have a sense of lengthening down down so that my the one side shortens and the side of the of the leg I'm standing on that gets longer longer that's it I lengthen down through the leg you see that movement of the pelvis and the ribs that enable me to if I wanted to to balance on that leg and then um, come back. So try it on the other side. So again, really take a moment just to notice, can you really sense this idea that you're lengthening down into the leg, that's it, as the head stays tall and then come back to two legs. So again, it's can you allow that idea of actually the pelvis can move, the ribs can participate to enable me to stand if I wanted to and balance on that one leg because of the organisation through the, the centre. And you can, as you're practising your walking, just notice are you allowing allowing the your middle to participate? So often you see you'll see people walking and the middle is kept very, very held and stiff, the pelvis doesn't move, and then you'll see a smaller, um, more strained gait where people are beginning to tilt, tilt as opposed to shifting weight through their middle. Hope you enjoyed the class, hope you found it interesting. Um, stay safe everybody and see you soon.